Hello everyone, welcome back to Core Mathematics 2 at Excel, Equation of Circle. The equation of circle is x minus h all squared plus y minus k all squared is equal to r squared, such that h and k is the center of circle. This formula can be derived easily from uh, applying Pythagorean theorem. Okay? Uh, consider I have a point x and y in general. Any point on a circle, it's a coordinate x and y. The center here, h and k. If you draw a vertical line from this point and you draw a horizontal line from the center, will intersect in a point here, forming a right triangle. This triangle can be formed for any oblique line, as you see. So, in this, because we have a right triangle here, you can apply Pythagoras theorem by saying this side square plus this side square equal uh, hypotenuse square. So, x minus h all squared, this is the first side of the right angle, plus y minus k all squared is equal to r squared. And this is the formula or, or of the, this is the rule for circle, so, or equation of circle. So, equation of circle whose center h and k is simply x minus h all squared plus y minus k all squared is equal to r squared, okay? I have some exercise here to apply to use to use uh, uh, this uh, formula in uh, exercise 4D, okay? Number one, write down the equation of circle whose center negative four and five and radius is uh, R equals six. So the formula X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared is equal to R squared. X minus the center is negative four Okay, all squared plus y minus the other point is 5 squared is equal to 6 squared. So simplifying this one, x plus 4 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to 36. Thank you. Very easy. Only drop the center in h and k and substitute for r. Okay? Continue with me some more question. This is the number of question in exercise 4D. Write down the coordinate of the center and radius of a circle. This equation now in the uh, center, this form is called center radius form. Center radius form of the circle. Okay? So this number can be written as x minus negative 5. Okay? I just try to write it in the form x minus, not plus. This already in the form, y minus 4 squared is equal to 9 squared. So simply, what is the center now? This point, negative 5 and 4. The center is negative 5 and 4. And the radius is this number, square root of this number. 9 squared, square root is 9. Easy, yes? Very easy. Fine the center and, and the radius of the circle. Now this is the general form of equation of circle. I try to write this form in the canonical form like this, in the form of center radius form, this form, by complete square. I think you studied complete square in uh, previous lessons in algebra, I try to do it now. We will complete square for x squared and for x, this, these two terms, x squared and for x. We just write it, x plus half of the 4, 2, all squared, minus this number square, 4. What I write now, the same x squared plus 4, four plus 4x. Four the two terms of uh, y, y squared, this, y squared and, and 6y, these two terms also can be written in this form. y, just write plus, y squared, just write y, plus half, 6, 3, all squared minus this number squared 9. Okay? This is uh, an expression. So y squared and 6y is y plus 3 all squared minus 9. And x squared plus 4x is really x plus 2 all squared minus 4. If you expand this again, you will get it exactly x squared plus 4x. Continue the equation plus 3 is equal to 0. Now write the equation in the center radius 4 by writing x plus 2, the parentheses only plus y plus 3 squared, and negative 4, we have to solve these numbers, negative 4 plus, minus 9 plus 3. 
Okay, or writing in the other side, 4 plus 9 minus 3. Okay, by, uh, of course, you move it on the right-hand side, you change the sign. So 4 plus 9 equal 13, minus 3 equal 10. Okay, so x plus 2, all squared, plus y plus 3, all squared is equal to 10. So uh, what is the center now? The center is a negative 2 and negative 3. Always write these uh, points in an inverse sign to find to write the center and the radius equal radical 10 okay very easy continue here number c this equation also um, is a general form of the equation of circle but the coefficient here of x squared or y squared is 2 take the whole equation divide by 2 okay you get x squared plus y squared plus 4x plus 15 over 2y minus half is equal to 0. Continue now for make a complete square for the terms of x. x plus half of this number 2 all squared minus this number squared 4. Plus also for y now work with y squared and y please. Just write y the square root of y squared, the same sign plus here, you have to write plus. 15 over 2, it's a half, is 15 over 4. Okay, just multiply the denominator by 2 to get it's a half. All squared. Minus, this number square is 2 to 5 over uh, 4 squared, 16. Okay? Don't forget to write negative half here. Negative half is equal to 0. Okay? Now write the parentheses only, x plus 2, the brackets, squared, plus y plus 15 over 4 all squared is equal to, you have to write this number, look at this number, negative 4, minus 20, uh, two, uh, 225 over 16 minus half. You have to bring them all on the right-hand side and make them positive. Uh, if you try to solve this, I think I have the value here. Okay, the value is uh, 297 over 60. Okay, so this is a form. X minus H all square plus Y minus K all square equal R square. This is R square, the radius square. So simply write C, the center, negative 2 and negative 15 over 4. Okay, and the radius equals square root of this value. Root 297 over square root of 16 is... Um, four. Okay, this number can be more simplified. Yes, you can you can simplify this form as yeah this one, three root thirty three. You can use a calculator to simplify this value. Okay, this is the answer of number three C. Continue now to more questions. Number four, show that the point four and eight lies on a circle whose equation this. If you want to form or to show that the point lies on this equation, just substitute for x is 4 and for y equals 8. Very easy. And the check, you must get the two sides are equal. You must get all the side is equal to this side. So let me check with you. 4 minus 2 all squared plus 8 minus 5 all squared is equal to 13. 4 minus 2, 2, 2 squared is 4. 8 minus 5, 3, 3 squared is 9, equal 13. Yes, 13 is equal to 13, it's true. So, the point 4 and 8 lies. Number 5. The point 4, negative 2 lies on a circle, center 8 and 1. Find the equation of circle. Consider I have a circle, okay? I have a center, 8 and 1. And any point 4 and negative 2. To find the equation of circle, I need the center. The center here is already 8 and 1. And I need the radius. The radius can be, you can get it from the uh, distance formula. R is equal to square root of a difference in x square plus a difference in y square. Okay? So 8 minus 4 squared, all squared. 8 minus 4, all squared. Plus 1 minus negative 2. 1 minus negative 2, all squared. So a square root of 8 minus 4, 4, 4 squared, 16. 1 minus negative 2, 3 squared is 9. Is root 
25. The radius now is equal to 5. Okay, now write the equation. X minus the center, A. The equation coming from the distance formula again, as I told you, or Pythagorean theorem. Consider any point X. So X minus 8, all squared, is equal plus, uh, sorry, you have to add, X minus 8 all squared plus Y minus 1, also all squared equal radius squared, which is 5 squared. Thank you, that's it. Very easy. You can leave 5 squared or write it 25, no problem. Okay? This is the equation of circle. Continue question number 8. I have two more questions. The line Y equals to X plus 13. Touch a circle X squared plus Y minus 3 all squared equal 20 at negative 4 and 5. Consider I have a tangent. Line touch a circle. Uh, this, uh, you can find the center of course. The center here is 0. We don't have any number plus X. Yeah, consider it's 0. This X squared is really X minus 0 all squared. No problem. So, um, the center is 0 and the 3 from equation of circle, this one, okay? Uh, this line, consider its equation to y equal to x plus uh, 13, it's uh, given here. The line touch, the touch the circle means this line is a tangent. At the point, this point is negative 4 and 5, okay? Show that the radius at negative 4 and 5 is perpendicular. I want to show that. This is one of the theorem of the geometry. You know the radius of a circle is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of tangency. How can I show that two lines in general are perpendicular? By finding their slopes, m1 and m2, and to try to multiply them. My m1 times m2 must be negative 1. This is the idea to solve. So I will get now slope of, of radius. Slope of radius is equal to, you know, slope uh, uh, of the line passing through two points in a difference in y over a difference in x. Very easy. 3 minus 5 over 0 minus negative 4. Negative 2 over 4 is equal to negative half. This is the slope of radius. And go to find the slope of a tangent or the line I have here. Um, Consider this, consider this M1 and I have here M2, okay? The slope here, Y equal MX plus 13 plus C, this is the slope, this number. Now, multiply the two slopes, M1 times M2, what you'll get? Negative half times two is negative one, perfect. If the product of the two slopes is negative one, the two lines are perpendicular, that's it. So, radius is perpendicular to tangent. That's it. Okay, very easy. And last question I have today is question number 10. The point P1, negative 2 lies on a circle of center. Consider this is circle 4 and 6, center. And consider another point here, 1 and negative 2. Find the equation of circle. Okay, equation of circle, you find the r first and get, get the equation of circle. The r, the radius, is the square root of difference in x, 4 minus 1 squared, plus difference in y, 6 minus negative 2 squared. Very easy. Square root of 4 minus 1, 3, 3 squared is 9, plus... 6 minus negative 2, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 squared is 64. Just add, you will get uh, 73. So R is equal to square root of 73. So go to the form of the equation of circle, X minus H all squared, plus Y minus K all squared equals R squared, and substitute in the formula, X minus 4, this is the center, don't forget, squared, plus y minus 6 all squared is equal to radical 73 squared. That's a power 2 will uh, cancel the radical sign will be only 73. This is the equation of circle. Very easy. Number B here. Find the equation of the tangent to a circle at point P. Consider I have a tangent here. Tangent to a circle. At point P, this point is P. In the form AB, 
ax plus by plus c is equal to zero is the general form of the straight line to find the equation of any line you have to uh, to have to get uh, or you have to have uh, two pieces of information a slope and point or two points you have already one point you can easily find the slope of this line yes we studied now that the radius of the circle is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of tangency. Not any radius perpendicular to the tangent. Not, not this one. This radius is not perpendicular. This, this radius is not. This radius is not. Only this one. So, you can get a slope of, slope of radius, okay? And then we can, from, from this slope, you can get the slope of perpendicular line. Easy, very easy. Slope of radius is the difference in y, 6 minus negative 2 over 4 minus 1. This is the slope of the radius. Again, 6 minus negative 2 over 4 minus 1. This is 8 over 3. So, slope of perpendicular line is equal to negative 3 over 8. Okay? Easy? Good. Now, I have a tangent. It's a slope, negative 3 over 8. And there is a point B, 1 and negative 2 uh, lies on it. So you can use uh, the a point to slope formula to find the equation of the line. Y minus Y1 is equal M uh, into X minus X1. Y minus X1, Y1 is a point already you have. X minus negative 2 is equal to the slope, negative 3 over 8 into X minus 1. Here, x minus 1, this point. So, y plus 2 is equal to, you can multiply by 8 each side, okay? Multiply by 8 here. 8 is cancelled. Here, 8. You have only negative 3x plus 3. And then, 8y plus 16. You can bring a 3 here also, plus 3x minus 3 is equal to 0. Bring these two terms here. Finally, the answer is 3x plus 8y, okay? 16 minus uh, 3 is uh, 13, plus 13 is equal to 0. So this is the form uh, of the, um, the tangent to a circle, the equation of the tangent to a circle at the point P, 1 and negative 2. Thank you so much and see you next time. I hope everyone took out the idea and uh, if you have any question, just write the com in comments. Goodbye.